some of you, for example, you have this hijab style where you kind of teach sisters how to like have a strand of hair sticking out, yeah? You make one video, that video gets two, three hundred thousand views. Every sister who learned that from you and now goes out and wears that hijab style where her hair is exposed in disobedience to Allah, every single sister who does it and every time she does it, that sin will be on your scale on the day of judgment. She will be sinful for what she done, but you'll be sinful for what all of them done. The Prophet said a woman who sprays perfume on herself and goes outside into the street where the men can sniff her perfume. He said she's a fornicatress. Now what about a woman who wears makeup? When makeup is more of a fitna than perfume. Okay? If you were to stop liking and subscribing and, and, and showing love to them for the haram they do, you would stop doing the haram. Trust me, if you came and you told all of these hijabi, top hijabi YouTubers and you just commented every day saying haram, haram, fi Allah, trust me, next day you see them all in jibab. One of the brothers who was on my team, of course he wasn't looking intentionally, but he messaged me shocked. I said, I just wore hijabi in a crop top showing her belly, akhi. Mm -hmm. Like, wallah, a crop top mm -hmm. is the top that we were showing. A brother saw a niqab in the jeans. One brother told me he saw a niqab in the jeans. But that's what I'm saying, like, look how big... Wow. You have to understand, my sisters, this is all because of the hijabi YouTuber culture. If your wife is coming out in front of people, showing herself, embarrassing herself, being all hysterical and laughing and all of this in front of people that are just, maybe they're laughing at her, maybe they're, some people are perverted, they're just lusted by her or something like that, they're in love with her or something actually, like that. You actually know a guy who won hijabi YouTuber, he actually masturbated over her. Mm, I, yeah, I, yeah, 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 it's, it's, I don't know how you live in a day and age where like a guy is just comfortable with man looking at his woman. Like, well, that, that just nice. confuses me. Yeah. Now, well, that to me, like, honestly, is your wife, bro. It's your honor. Every man is watching her. And I told you, some guys are what? At, they're actually, they're funding themselves while they're watching her. Well, to be honest, this is animalistic. This is, this is what a pig is like. It's how the pig move. And the pig is the only animal that will basically watch another male pig come and basically have intercourse with his pig woman. And he'll watch it and enjoy it. Sometimes might get involved. <laughs> <laughs> it's real talk. It's real talk. It's, it's real pig woman. Yeah, yeah it's real talk. The point is, the point is I'm saying the kufar eat and the kufar are like that. Like, wallahi, man, the kufar are okay. Like, I'm, I'm saying, I've got a neighbor, yeah? My neighbor, like, he stands there. Like, he, his, his wife tried chat to man. She put her hand out. It's like, hi, my name is so-and-so. And I'm like, bruv, like, like, mm -hmm. Obviously, I told her no. Like, in a nice way, I said sorry. I said, I said we don't we don't shake hands with women in our religion. But the point is that man standing there letting his wife shake hands with me. Like I'm saying, they're okay. Like you see how these these kafar they come and their wives they, you know, they kiss you in the face. Like, and the, and the kafir will stay. He'll go and kiss his other guy's wife. <laughs> no, well, that's what they do. Like. And the next thing you know, I, I said, and you know what? It's because they eat the pig. But I'm saying, <laughs> our women feel insecure in hijab. You, I blame you. Each and every single one of you. I blame every single one of you. Every single one of your videos are going to be played back on the day of judgment. These hijabi YouTubers, and you mentioned it before, that they're the reason. Billah alayk. On the day of judgment, that's going to be on your neck. Each and every single of these millions of millions of sisters that watch your videos and have been misguided because of that. Each and every single one of them. And what they're doing is going to be on your neck. Don't indulge in a short-term pleasure short-term fun and that short-term fun is gonna cost you an eternity of suffering and pain in the next life does it not make sense to go for a little bit of patience in this world for an eternity of ecstasy in paradise <coughs> have you got rivers of wine in paradise you can you can you can if you really want like want to twerk that bad twerk twerk to your husband in Jannah.